to show you how to fix the aftermath of a teenager's car wreck. Now if you've got a teenage car driver or used to have one, you know they often get into wrecks. And with the high cost of insurance for teenagers, most people don't have collisions, so if they get in a wreck, you got to pay to fix your own car. So today I'm going to show you how you can fix a broken air conditioner on this wrecked car and save yourself a ton of money. Now even though the car was hit in the front here, and the fans have gotten close to the exhaust manifold, it didn't break the radiator, it just bent it, so the car ran okay. But when they turned on the air conditioning, it wouldn't blow cold. And that's because the wreck pushed a piece of the frame into the AC condenser and all the refrigerant leaked out. So I'm going to show you how to fix it so the AC will work okay. It won't be a perfect job, but it'll work good enough to let them go down the road and run into something next time. Now if we look down inside here, we can see where a piece of the frame has hit the AC condenser, knocked a hole in it. And that's where this reciprocal saw is going to come in handy. We're going to use it to cut that little piece off in the front so we can get the old one off and have room to put the new one in. Now normally you'd want to be careful not to cut a hole in the condenser, but it's already got a hole in it so we don't really care. We'll just use a sawzall, which I got for $20 on sale at Harbor Freight Tools, and it may be made in China, but I've had it for years and it still works fine. We'll just stick it in here and cut the piece off. And of course we'll cut the other side too. Then after unbolting all the bolts to the condenser and the two lines that feed refrigerant to it, we'll just wiggle the condenser out of the way. Ah, out it comes. And out comes the broken frame part. You can see it really got bent up. And just look at the difference between the old broken one and the brand new straight one. Then we'll carefully slide the new condenser in. And amazingly enough, it still fits into the hole in the bottom. And we locked out there because if it was bent anymore and it didn't fit, we'd have one heck of a time making the holes line up so it would fit in them. Then we'll line up the air conditioning lines on the condenser and bolt them on. Then of course, you got to hook up an evacuation pump to suck all the air out of the system before filling it up with new refrigerant. You want to do that for about an hour, so while you're doing that, you can put all the rest of the car back together. Put the grill back in and bolt it on. Screw all the pieces in tight. Then after about an hour of evacuating all the moisture out of the system, you fill it up with refrigerant, and it tells you how much right on the sticker here. It says 0.55 kilograms. So we'll fill it up using the scale until it gets to 0.55 kilograms. It's starting to fill up. And there we go. Now it's full. Ah, and we got nice and cool air coming out of the vents to cool myself down after all this hard work. So now you can go back to being a cool cat in your air conditioned car. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this winter wonderland.